Let's go back to Revelation 4, find out what else John saw, and then we're going to look at the body and see the analogy. I'm going to show you something I've never really showed people before. You're going to like this, all right? Revelation 4, 5, and out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. I want you to notice where the human voice box is. And how does the voice operate? It's at the base of the larynx. It's just sort of right here, neck, right close to your lungs, into your heart. And how does that operate? Can you just rub your voice box together, make the muscles twitch with, no, we can't do that. The only thing that we can do with our voice box is loosen or tighten it as the air goes through it and it causes the two muscles to vibrate which give us our voice. So think about it. Right here is the voice box. John says he hears voices coming out of the temple of God and we have a voice box in the temple of God. He also says that he sees lightnings and he hears thunder. You ever thought about this? Take a look at this. Out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings. You're looking at a chart or a graph or what they call an echocardiogram, an EKG. And it basically is just a sensor they put around your heart and it picks up the sounds that you the sounds, plural, that your heart makes. Now, some people, if you, they were to mimic a heart, they would go boom, 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 boom. That's only half true. If you take a look at this EKG, you'll note that there is one, two, three, four distinct sounds that the heart makes. And it actually, it, you know, it makes sense. You have, when your heart pumps, you have four different chambers that are either receiving or sending blood out. And each one of those chambers makes its own distinct sound. And those doctors who are trained and who know an EKG and they know how the heart works, when they look at an EKG and they see something, one of those four sounds made that are not, that's not quite right. In other words, they know what it's supposed to look like. And let's say that sound number three is one, the third chamber of the heart. They then know that if that sound doesn't look right on the chart, on the graph, on the EKG, they know what chamber is causing the problem and they, they know, okay, in this chamber right here is this problem and that's why there's pain there, that's why there's dizziness or whatever it is. They're able to diagnose what part of the heart because that part of the heart makes a certain sound. And when you listen to it, what does it sound like? Thunder. It sounds like thunder. And what does thunder come from? Lightning. What makes your heart muscles expand and contract? What causes that? Electricity. Anybody that's ever had paddles put to them to get their heart back in rhythm, to reset it. Basically, doctors know that if they give your heart a jolt of electricity, that it stops all the awkward signals, or that's the theory, that it's going to stop all the signals and the heart can restart again. Or if a heart's not beating, they can jolt it and maybe that will get it back beating again in the normal rhythm that it's supposed to be beating in. But 